Hi guys, welcome to lecture number four of AI agents playlist. And guys, today we'll be talking about tool calling and function calling. And guys, uh, by far this is the most important topic which we are going to discuss. And yes, guys, even its business implications and usability are very high. So guys, I'll be telling you in very simple term what tool calling or function calling is. In simple terms, at a low level design, all you need to do is define a Python function. So guys, once you define a Python function, right, you can define a Python function like you used to, right? It's pretty simple. You just need to write a Python function. Then guys, this is your LLM. Okay. Now the fact is that your LLM is going to call this Python function. So you need to realize that this is your LLM and it's going to have access to this Python function. Now this can be based on your, your logic, your organization any logic guys any logic which you can think which can be uh, written in the form of python function and as far as i know anything can be written in the form of python function your llm can have direct access to it it can use it whenever it want now guys why is this important because guys this python function okay is something which can call a api which can have some custom business logic which can do a insert which can do a select statement it can do anything in the world guys this is known as business logic if your business logic gets integrated with llms anything can be done by a simple simple llm call this is the power guys okay let's say you want to in update a record insert a record fetch user details everything can be done in the most simplest manner with the help of an LLM but obviously guys since uh, tool calling is a little like you will be able to understand it that's for sure because it's simple right just have uh, external Python functions and uh, so uh, I'll just help you understand it a little better let's just maybe uh, let's just maybe go to this plain sheet so guys see in simple terms you will be able to understand this this is your llm okay and this is your python function now the thing is let's just join it over here now the only thing that you need to know is that this is your llm okay it got raised so that's okay we can draw it again so this is your llm this is your python function they will be talking to one another and uh, this is exactly your LLM. Mm, let's just go to pencil. So this is your LLM. Okay. And this is your Python function. Now guys, they will be communicating with one another. Whenever your LLM thinks that, okay, I do not know this answer. It's going to call this function. And this function, as I said, is known as business logic. Guys, this can be anything. This can be a database query. It can be a API call. It can be your custom business logic, which is like defined in your organization, which LLM doesn't know, right? So guys, the only thing that you need to catch here is that here I'm using Langchain. Okay. And there will be multiple frameworks which allow you to do tool calling and all. But guys, the main concept is not about framework. The main concept is knowing that functionality and understanding one framework well, because if you can understand one framework well, then you can scale things up very well. Okay, so I'll be teaching you in the most uh, simplest fashion so that you can understand everything in a more step by step in the most step by step manner. That is, I guess this level of granularity, no one would have captured. So guys, let's just start. So the first thing is simple. We just need to install uh, generative AI module from Google. We have been doing it in all our lectures. Then we just need to set up the stuff. We have been doing all this in all lectures. We just need to get the environment variables loaded in we just need to set our api key and we just need to define our llm and this has been done across lectures so let's just move to the next point now guys moving towards the tool calling part so let's just try to see what import we are doing so we are saying langchain core dot messages import human message and tool message now guys langchain as you know like it's a python library that's right now the thing is what type of messages it has so it has human message it has tool message it has AI message and it has, I think it has human message, tool message, uh, AI message and system message. Yeah. 
so these are the four type of messages which are there in your lang chain now we are importing it and it's just we are calling in the tool because as i said that we will be understanding tool calling so guys tool is just don't get confused with fancy words it's simply you can think of it as a, a python function which may make a api call which may uh, have any business logic written which can call any database everything is like shown and everything will be covered as well don't worry now let's move down so first of all guys let's say i need to define the tool so first of all just use this tool decorator and this is how guys langchain asks us to do okay and then then the next step is define your logic now this case anyone can do because every organization will have some se separate business logic which you need to write in the form of python function over here simple i am just using a simple bmi calculator so guys this is very important you need to mention the arguments okay that what is the data type of this and what is the data type of this and also this dog string is important because this will give context to the uh, abstract layer which we are using so make sure of just these three things rest is okay guys you write functions in python 24 into 7 just make sure you write a good function that's it nothing more here then guys you just i'm creating a list so it's not that you can only use one tool you can use multiple tools so had we had more tools we could have just added a comma and added more tools inside this list now this is okay just try to remember here what we are defining tool with the help of tool decorator very important point second thing is for the arguments make sure that the data type is well known to you and secondly guys very very importantly just try to have this doc string in a proper manner rest all is fine guys write python functions right like you have been writing throughout your uh, career let's move down what is the third part the third part is llm with tool so guys what we are doing is as i've been seeing that this is my llm and this is my tool i need some way like they'll be joined together so this line of code this line of code achieves this so this is my llm and this is my python function okay i'm just writing py for the time being so my python uh, so okay sorry uh, okay just consider it as pf only so python function so my llm and my python function are now together with the help of this abstract implementation dot bind tools now tell me guys is it clear i think it is clear now the first thing is what is the user query so the user query is what is the bmi of a person who is 100 kg and 1.75 meter tall now this is the user query so as i said guys first thing what i'm doing is i'm creating a message list okay this is a simple list okay let me just uh, so i'm just creating a simple message list so this is a simple message list okay guys so here we are first of all defining a sim simple message list and then guys we are invoking what we are invoking this message okay so we are invoking this message over here so we, have, we are just in calling this over here we are just calling this thing over here and then we are just for the time being printing message which is giving us this thing because this has human message and what is the content that goes inside the human message this is my query that the user is asking that the human is asking okay this is clear then we are calling the llm so dot invoke we are calling we have been doing it all through our course now guys understand the problem over here what happened if you look at this thing if you look at this thing this is your message till now so message is a list okay be aware of this data type guys and then human message content what is the bmi of a person this is the same thing additional keyword arguments is nothing and we don't have any response metadata now guys check it what is our ai message so ai message is llm with tool <clears throat> so we made sure that our llm and our tool are combined and now we are calling this human query on top of it see what we get we just get a we get a message in which the content is blank now if you remember we used to get our response with the help of dot content method but this time guide the dot content method is only blank but go forward try to understand the additional keyword arguments function call name bmi calculators argument so see guys it is able to understand it is able to understand that we need to sort of make a tool call over tool call over here and if you'll move forward right if you'll move over here you will if you'll move over here see guys this this is the main thing you are able to see tool calls bmi arguments this and this is the id so guys in backdrop it is able to understand that i need to make some sort of tool call now and uh, I need to like it. It's thinking that okay, I need to make a tool call now. 
these are the arguments it is able to fetch the arguments as well and this is the tool call this is the name of the tool call now guys what is happening is now you need to make sure that the tool call is ma made because first thing is you want your llm to think right to process the fact that a tool call needs to be made so the next step is obviously making that tool call now just try to see guys so the next step is we are appending this ai message also into our message list okay so our message list becomes this you will see ai message also coming deep down uh huh so this is i think ai message ai message ai message ai message see this is the ai message part of things okay so now we have defined human message as well as ai messages and we have appended everything into our message list okay just try to keep take a note of this data type as well that's why guys because if you'll just keep uh, maybe str and all so you won't be able to dot append and also just try to keep a note of these granular things no one tells you these things but guys if you understand these things then scaling things would be very uh, import easy because see guys uh, you would be understanding some sort of frameworks right there all these things will come into picture a lot now the thing is guys everything is done we have a human message we have a ai message but we still don't have an outcome also guys as i said that till now we haven't even i think made a tool call we in backdrop something is happening but we i don't have the output right i don't have the output of the tool call so that later on i can pass it to an llm and then the llm can answer based on human query and the output of my tool call so how will that happen guys see what we are doing is in the next thing guys i am just writing a for loop so for i in ai message dot tool call so this is the type of uh, like argument which you need to understand so this is what is happening in backdrop so from here guys the first thing I, first thing i am accessing is name name and this name is mapped to this what is this guys this is our python function if i'll click over here i'll be redirected to the python function see guys this is the power it's just this amount of granularity that you require to understand that what is happening in the backdrop of things is this c that this name argument is this and this is mapped to this now if i'll see the selected tool i'll have this bmi calculator the description and guys you will see a this function being created very well see see now this function is available here so if our function is available i can i don't have to do anything i just need to invoke it now in order to invoke a function i would need arguments and because of this ai message thing i already have the arguments see this args parameter so what i am doing is first of all i am breaking down the ai message dot tool calls part i am selecting which tool has been called which tool has been called guys bmi calculator bmi calculator is mapped to what bmi calculator what is this this is our python function which is written at top then the next thing is this is the selected tool now guys the tool output now we are invoking how we'll invoke because i have this ai message guys this has a thing for arguments so these are the arguments which will be parsed so i dot args this is just mapping to this portion so this and then guys i'm printing the tool output and then guys i'm appending the tool message as well so let's just see i'm appending the tool message as well so the tool output came out ob obesity and now i have appended the tool message as well to my message what was message message was a list that i created in start okay this was this message so now in this i have appended multiple things human message ai message and now i'm appending tool message and now once i have appended all these three things guys then guys finally i am calling the thing on message so this is my final api call and now i am able to get the answer bmi is in obesity range so guys try to understand i know this might be a little complicated for some of you because this involves some uh, bit of little deep understanding specific to it but guys this is very very easy i would say because you just need to understand little bit of coding this is not difficult coding and coding at all you just need to understand little bit of the fact that how your uh, uh, like internal parameters are broken down and just use it so let's just i'll give you a quick revision of what we did so guys first of all only thing that you need to remember is that there would be an llm there would be a function and we need to make sure 
that they can communicate and for that I'll be using Langchain okay now this is my LLM this is my business logic this is my Python function okay this is my API call and otherwise guys maybe you could say this is my what you call that uh, this is my uh, database query as well DB query okay so all these things are there and these are written in the form of Python function now you first need to just use an decorator tool okay and define your Python function very simple nothing then you need to do the other thing which is very important that is you need to bind your LLM you need to bind your LLM with this tool then guys first of all what I did is I created a message class okay I created a message thing and using this message this was a empty list initially okay but first thing that got inserted in it was human message then I inserted AI message but the problem with AI message was that there was no content in it so I cannot show it to the user because guys internally in the backdrop it was thinking that it need to call this tool then based on this AI message I extracted arguments and what is the tool it want to call then guys I called that tool then I even appended the tool message over here now the final message has human query it has AI message and it has the tool output as well when all these three things got integrated in the messages guys I made a final call to my LLM and it was able to give me a response so guys see this is little tricky but this is the base level of this is little abstract representation so you have to understand and the best way to understand is follow my notebook I have made sure that everything gets broken down into very sizable pieces so that everyone can understand it okay so just try to spend some time if you have any doubts guys directly reach out to me on LinkedIn or my Instagram and guys please please subscribe to my YouTube channel it will be great thank you and have a great and happy new year